हेलो एवरी वन ऑलरेडी वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड आर टू लेसन्स ऑफ टर्म टू नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू लेसन दैट इज वॉट इफ इट फिनिशेस ओके इन दिस लेसन वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द फ्यूएल्स दैन टाइप्स ऑफ फ्यूएल्स वॉट आर द फॉसिल फ्यूएल्स फ्रॉम वेयर वी गेट दैट फ्यूएल्स एंड मेनी थिंग्स ओके सो बी रेडी टू राइट डाउन एम एंड की वर्ड्स ऑफ फर्स्ट सेशन सी एम टू लर्न अबाउट फ्यूएल्स एंड इट्स टाइप्स एंड द की वर्ड्स आर सॉलिड लिक्विड गैस एनर्जी रिन्यूएबल एंड नॉन रिन्यूएबल ओके सो टेक स्क्रीन शॉट एंड राइट डाउन एम एंड की वर्ड्स इन योर नोटबुक इन प्रॉपर हैंड राइटिंग ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट आर लेसन अगेन देर इज वन स्टोरी अबाउट अ बस जर्नी ओके सो रीड विथ मी टूडे वी आर टूडे वी वी आर गोइंग ऑन अ स्कूल ट्रीप टू द अदलाट स्टेप वेयर दैट इज बावली अबाउट एटीन किलोमीटर्स फ्रॉम अहमदाबाद वी बिगैन काउंटिंग द वहीकल्स ऑन द रोड सम ऑफ अस काउंटेड द बाइसिकल्स अदर काउंटेड द बसेस कार्स एंड मोटरसाइकल्स Abraham who was counting bicycles soon get bored there were hardly any bicycles on this highway so maybe you have seen in mumbai in pune means the large cities are there we can see this condition okay the vehicles and vehicles on the road so screech the driver suddenly brake at the red light it was a big crossing and we could see the traffic line up on all sides hong kong the sound the sound of loud horns and the smoke coming out of the vehicles maybe that is why a little boy in a rickshaw was coughing so much okay that is related to the air pollution so that things we are not going to learn i smell something familiar i remembered this smell it came from baba's tractor in the village see the black colored coming out from the vehicles so what is that can you tell me that have you seen something is coming out from the vehicles a black colored things are there yes actually the black colored thing is known as a carbon carbon is coming out from the vehicles now what is a carbon why the carbon is coming out from that vehicle so that we will see with the help of our topic that is fuels so see as we know that we get the energy from the food if you want to do any work you should eat something correct am i saying am i saying correct yes if you want to do something you have to eat then only you can do your work with full energy so we get energy from the food now as we are getting something for doing work the vehicles are also doing their works so vehicles also need the food so are we give means are we giving the roti and rice the pulses pizza and chinese to the vehicles for eating are they eating this kind of food no the vehicles are also eating something so that is food okay the food of that vehicles are your fuels a fuel is a substance that is used to produce heat and energy okay the vehicles that traveling on the road going on the road because of the fuels means your vehicles that run on fuels so which are that fuels the fuels that we know that the petrol and diesel correct the petrol and diesel are the food atoms that required by the vehicles not only the petrol and diesel kerosene also used as a fuel in the vehicles like a jet planes okay kerosene means your rocket so a fuel is a material which provide energy to move or to work work means what what we have learned in work when we are doing something when we are changing our place or any kind of shape or doing something so that is your work 
when vehicles are going here and there the vehicles are also doing their work and they are doing work because of the petrol and diesel see if in your vehicle petrol and diesel are not there can you take that vehicle for going here and there no we cannot get that if you are putting water see from water also we get energy our body get energy from the water so can we put water as a fuel in the vehicles no we cannot do that the vehicles cannot run on the water means it possible if you are doing something inventions and all so if you are interested you can do that kind of things so that is another part our focus is on fuels okay so this is the introduction of fuels that the fuels are the food of the vehicles okay your vehicles are running on the fuels and what is a fuel a fuel is a substance that is used to produce heat and energy so write down that definition of fuel in your notebook a fuel is a substance okay a fuel is a substance that is used to produce heat and energy understood what are the fuels okay so you can see here some pictures of fuels the black color then coal maybe you have seen this kind of things but where that we will discuss okay so see that fuels is actually a part of energy okay energy means what that we have learned that from food we are getting a capacity to do the work so that is your energy okay in our nature many kind of energies are present so that are actually there are two types of sources of energy first is renewable sources and second one that is non renewable sources so our fuels are actually related to the non renewable sources so you have to draw this table in your notebook okay see renewable sources and non renewable sources so renewable means what we can create that things again or we can use that things again for example your sunlight sunlight will not finished the wind water animal and plant waste that we can use again and again okay that will not finished but opposite to that there are some sources of energy that are in limited quantity okay whatever the fuels are there the petrol and diesel these fuels we get from the fossil fuels okay about the fossil fuels we will learn in second session but your petrol diesel kerosene whatever the things that we are using for vehicles that we derive that we get from the fossil fuels and which are the non renewable sources means these fuels are in limited quantity they cannot be produced easily okay as their formation takes a long time they may get over some day so they are uh, means non renewable fuels understood what about uh, means what are the fossil fuels that we will see only in this session we are going to learn the introductory part that is the fuels and types of fuels okay so already we have written the definition of fuel you can see here any substance that is used to produce heat and energy is called a fuel okay see some commonly used fuels are i have given that is wood coal cow dung cakes kerosene lpg petrol and diesel okay see the wood and coal why i have written here wood and coal we are not using wood and coal in vehicles correct so why i have written the fuels have you seen uh, that one movie i forgot that so in that movie train is moving on the coal maybe you have seen that movie i i, I forgot that name so from the coal that engine of that train is getting energy and the train is moving 
when uh, means for bath we are taking from the hot water from the chula okay so that wood is there then cow dung cakes are there maybe you have seen that in villages we are using that okay so wood coal and cow dung cakes these are also fuels as from that we get energy then your kerosene then lpg petrol and diesel so all these fuels we are using for cooking heating then in automobiles and for the generation of electricity so based on the physical state that is see there are the three states of matter we have learned that solid liquid and gases so based on their physical state there are three types of fuels okay see solid fuels liquid fuels and gaseous fuels so easily you can write about this kind of fuels means what if the fuels are solid in state at a room temperature so that fuels are known as solid fuels easy simple if the fuels are in liquid state at room temperature that are known as liquid fuels and in case of gaseous means what if the fuels are in gaseous state at room temperature huh? again and again underline that room temperature so that are known as gaseous fuels so what are the examples of solid fuels so see that your wood charcoal cow dung cakes agricultural waste and coal are some examples of solid fuels means this we get in a solid state and that's why the fuels are known as solid fuels okay then the liquid fuels means what liquid in state like your kerosene means your petrol uh, sorry your rocket then petrol diesel some fuel oil these are the examples of liquid fuels and in gaseous that is your petroleum gas natural gas and biogas see we have discussed about the renewable and non renewable so petroleum and natural gas that is given in your textbook but the biogas part is not uh, given in your textbook so about the biogas means what the biogas and the bio diesel these are the renewable fuels okay renewable means what uh see some fuels can be produced in a short span of time some required more time but some required short time so the materials required to produce them are continuously available to us so these are known as renewable fuels for example your biofuels means from things that get from the nature that are your plant and animal materials okay from plant and animal when we are getting or making the fuel so that are known as a biofuels maybe you have heard that the biogas yes the biogas which is prepared from the animal waste and the biodiesel which is prepared from the vegetable oils so these are some biofuels okay so these biofuels are also known as a green fuels as they burn without causing the air pollution so it is uh, means need of today's life that we have to use the green fuels as uh, much as possible okay as some fuels causes the pollution okay water and air pollution land pollution so instead of that we should use this kind of fuels understood about the types of fuels so you can see here i have given the three types of fuels uh, with their examples so this note you have to write first take the screenshot of this slide as maybe in exam there is a question that the difference between the solid and liquid liquid and gaseous fuels so you should know that what are the solid liquid and gaseous fuels and then write the examples okay taken the screenshot yes now see here also i have given with pictures about the solid fuels so you can see here the wood and coal 
means your charcoal coal and all liquid fuels that is kerosene now this kind of lamp we are not using okay then your petrol and diesel these are the liquid fuels and cng lpg biogas and hydrogen these are the gaseous fuels so what are the cng lpg that we will see in our next session okay a small session is there where we have learned about the fuels where we are using that fuels and their types of fuels so your homework is that whatever i have given the instruction to write the notes only that much notes you have to write as your homework okay so read again and again the small small point uh, small small points are there in this uh, lesson so you have to learn that in your textbook see page number 111 okay from the picture that is given on 110 so you can see here look at the picture on page 110 and write okay some questions are uh, you have to write see what are the different kinds of vehicles that you can see which vehicles you can see that you have to write means with that notes you have to write this question and answer also as your homework of session 1 any time i will ask you for your homework or notes so you have to write that on time then what do what do you think they need petrol and diesel as a fuel so that also you have to write which of the vehicles do you think give off smoke that coming out from the vehicle put a red mark on those so if you are putting a red mark please don't use red pen if you have red pencil so cross that vehicles which are giving smoke then which are the vehicles run without petrol and diesel that also vehicles are there so uh, write down that what problems do we face from the speeding vehicles so these questions you have to write down then other questions are there that is do you ride a bicycle if yes where all do you go on it how do you come to school how do your family members go to work from home what problems can we have from smoke coming coming out of vehicles so when the smoke is coming out from the vehicles that causes the air pollution now when it is related to the air the main problem is that you are breathing okay so asthma or breathing related problems may be happen by this smoking means the smoke that coming out from the vehicle so in your own points write down that and what kind of problems can we face from noise of vehicles so that is related to the sound pollution so already we have learned in your previous classes about the pollution and all so maybe i think you have uh, you will or you can write the questions that given on page number 111 okay so please write down that write down the notes that i have given through the slides okay still stay home stay safe and thank you